Okay, so at day number two, we have been progressing quite nicely indeed. Uh, this whole thing is looking very nice. The turret walls are looking very nice and the breeding is well underway. Now, I, want, I know I wanted to, for this episode, do a bit more PvP, but we've got a lot going on here right now. Um, and we did just have a little bit of a scare. Someone tried to run some of the turrets on the south side, which is out there. So I actually want to build a really cool turret tower out there. So we're going to have a go at that in a second. But first of all, just let you see what's up with the breeding. This is all going very well the benefits of living in a cave especially when you can fly in which is even better uh we've got some good golems we've got some uh, griffins we've got tappies very very good trike line uh, which is super good for soaking tech turrets and obviously there's a lot of tech turrets on these servers let's just keep this on passive healing just so I always do so yeah this is all going pretty damn well i'm pretty much breeding everything i want to breed right now it's all about just getting better lines and so on uh, they have balanced out the cloning a little bit more oh i bet i've got loads of eggs in this hatchery as well because i think i've got the trikes and thrandons on like constant mating well we're doing okay actually we'll get a little bit more of a build up before we take that off um but yeah the golems we've got these 450 ones um uh, that as you can see are 23k uh but they're not very good really these are 35ks are the ones we want oh, actually this is what i need to be cloning i need to not be cloning that other one because what I was doing actually is I was cloning the higher level one, but that's going to cost a lot more. So that has been a bit of a mistake. Either way, we'll let that one clone because it is going away. You can see these levels to over 100k. And what I'm going to do is going to start off one of those clones on the 612. Hmm. The thing is, though, if I level it, then when it clones, it comes out ready to go. It's kind of the price you pay. You can either level it and it costs a lot more to actually clone it. Uh, but it will come out ready healed if you clone it when it's healed or you can clone it like this for cheaper I think I'm at the stage where I might be able to just clone these for cheaper So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll get that going and then we'll make a start on the uh, board outside Well the turret wall outside even so here we are outside. You can actually see uh, I've just thrown down an extra bunch of turrets right now because we had a guy, if I just text it over here, uh, not really fob up, but he put some turrets down. He started trying to rocket run this wall. And you can see here we've got the tech force field that I just put down. I actually wanted to put this down so it might cover me while I was working on this. But I actually want to put this tower a little bit further out than that thing is doing. Now, I probably will have some turrets or some sort of turret tower on, say, this section. Obviously, it's always nice to have it high. Um, but I want to do a really good large one that's going to give as much protection as possible. Obviously, if you do it here, it's going to be super high for it to be able to shoot down into all different areas. I was considering putting it on the top here. And maybe I could put a little something on top as well. Like, it would be a good idea to have multiple towers here rather than just relying on one. Um, people having to take down multiple is going to be a big pain. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little something on the top of the rock there. I'll have a little something here. And I also want one out around here so people can't even consider thinking about trying to run into that section and do anything to do with that until they've broken this now i want it to be not too close to either side so ideally in the middle in between that section and this iceberg here but a tiny bit closer than this so i'm thinking around here is probably gonna be okay we've actually got some foundations started here now i actually want to do this tech because it is obviously six times around here and you do have the downside of people can push up with stuff and then use a tech trike or something or tech rifle sorry uh tech trike that's not something in the game as of right now um but people can use obviously a tech rifle uh but it just feels like the good thing to do when it's six times it's so easy to get so much tech stuff um i think it's gonna be all good so i'm gonna have to clear some of these before i get started on the tower okay so i've done the actual tower itself i'm a little worried it's not close enough but looking at that that's definitely more than higher range of turrets and uh, also i guess it is a little over the top but i wanted something decent here uh, obviously if this guy's gone from there he's seen this as a a weaker spot and i just don't want this to be the weakest spot now once i've done this tower i plan on doing one half that size so this is like a double tower uh, and the other two i plan on doing half the size so i probably have one like underneath me here about half the size and then one on top of this rock and in all honesty the the 
defenses we've got in the actual cave itself are enough but hey we might as well have it so people don't come and mess with us on our doorstep let's just make it so it just looks like something you wouldn't want to do uh so i'm probably gonna go for heavies on each corner and then two techs in between i could do more but i don't need to go too crazy in all honesty i'm not even sure um if the top ones would hit you from here like it would be kind of close but i think that's going to be enough i've got some uh, some turrets on me i'm going to pick up some of these as well um and then we will well we've got the long old journey of actually putting them up on that tower okay so the tower is done oh i'll be honest it was quite a grind and uh considering i mean i guess this is probably good enough like i'm a little bit worried that it's not far enough and people would still miss but i'm i mean i'm 99 percent sure i've put them on high settings so i could test with something but i think that'll be okay and i did promise you guys i'd go out and do a little bit of pvp so uh i guess i should probably get that started but i think i've done a pretty good job there i think i'm gonna do a few of those around but maybe just half the size that is two xl tech walls on top of each other and uh, I think just a few of those around in general will just stop people messing around with our entrances, which obviously isn't ideal. So doing all of this has actually really made me realise that, I mean, the rate of us breeding these soakers versus the rate at which people can get crazy bases that are hard to soak is a bit of a strange balance. So I want to have some more trikes ready to go. Trike are like the easiest and quickest soaker that we've got. Unfortunately, they are more of like an offline soaking thing. They're very hard to soak with if people are online, but I want to get loads going. Um, we've got 8.2k health in these, uh, which as you can see goes up to 39,000, which is very, very nice. Might sound a little bit over the top but you've got to remember that this has like an 800 turret limit on here so it's not like playing official you've got to get things that are eight times stronger to even consider breaking into some bases so we've got ours breeding there and if you can get the imprint they actually go up even more i think maybe some of these have managed to get up higher yeah i got the imprint on this one as you can see we've got up to forty six thousand. now we did get a health mutation but the health seemed to go back down once we actually double checked it so i'm not putting the mutators on for these even though that could work to give us a little bit extra health but we've got enough saved up here that i'm just gonna hatch these maybe i'll hatch like five and uh well maybe i'll get like five males uh, the females i'm not too worried about we've honestly got enough females um so they can kind of be throw away as well so actually you know what i might do is i might use these as war females for the mate boost that is a good idea so probably gonna hatch all of these um yeah definitely need the mate boost it does make a big difference So I'm out here doing a bit of farming, actually farming a bit of charcoal this way because we do have so many turrets to fill uh, that I want to make a lot of bullets. Obviously it's cheaper than just buying them from the shop. And I thought I'd come up with a 200 IQ play here with the Wyvern strat. Now I've kind of done it in a cool way, but also a couple of things I wish I'd done differently that I'll do in the next one that I'll explain to you. So basically as you can see, obviously you press the C attack, or I'm not sure what you'd call it, the sweep attack on the Wyvern, and it will farm the charcoal from the trees obviously on this crazy boosted server we're getting an absolute ton so i thought what would be super smart would be to get a weight wyvern and do this and then slot cap myself now after doing this i found that a slot cap of uh charcoal is only around fifty thousand weight like 55 something like that now in this wyvern i've gone up to 1.2 million weight so a little bit of an oversight there i think i'd go to 80k weight and then just do the rest movement speed so i can walk around here super quick and get all of this but it's very very nice indeed i've also been combining this with the dino tracker finally started using the dino tracker properly now uh, and it's very very good for farming and stuff like that so say this was full weight right now i could just call in something um that would be suitable i've already filled my parasaur uh, and i'll show you that i do that you just press right click comes up obviously with everything that has consumed one of those um things and my parasaur for example is full of weight and i've already filled this one up but this is what i use for the first time so just transfer it back like that very very simple and then you just do a uh, left click and i'm going to send that back to inside base now obviously i could do that again but i don't really need to if this thing this thing's already absolutely fine so we're going to tp back to base and get a few more turret bullets making 
So I promised you guys we would get out and about. So here I am out in the desert. Uh, try and look for some bases to potentially raid and just see what's up. See if there's any hidden goodies around here. We've got this crack here in the desert, which you can see in Orbit Cam. Uh, the turrets are actually down here, so I don't know if this guy's run out of gas or whatever. Uh, but I intend on making the most out of it. Um, obviously, this shouldn't be a massive problem. And this guy comes on for a fight, which again, shouldn't be a huge issue. Uh, but let's just have a little look in here and see what's up. Um, there are quite a few bigger bases around and we will be scouting them afterwards. But let's just break in and see what we've got on offer here. Oh, the players here. That's interesting. All right. Cheeky little fight here. You're going to get the turrets online? That would be an idea, wouldn't it? Such a shame this area isn't cave damage, really. I mean, it makes it so that... Uh, well, I don't know why it's expanding, that. It's going to make it easy for me to shoot. Uh, it makes this a little bit of an OP spot, to be honest. Like, it's one of these areas where you get all the benefits of a cave without being being cave damage and the reason is because normally uh obviously you can't build in here on regular servers it might have been an idea to go the other way the only reason i've come this way i guess is because if he does turn the turrets on i feel like this turret wall is a little bit easier to deal with although to be honest without soakers i'm not gonna be able to deal with any of it so i'm guessing he's gonna try and get that online he's picked the force field up oh and the turrets are on oh, damn all right well this isn't really something I can just do randomly. I'm going to have to wait and come back here with soakers and so on. So, uh, unfortunate there. I thought we had to get a nice little cheeky bit of loot to start us off. But let's keep looking around. See who else we can scout. Ooh, this looks a little bit tasty. We've got Dodo Warriors here. Uh, these kinds of bases are actually quite hard to raid on the servers at the moment. the uh, They've tried to balance the Quetzals out a little bit. You guys might know that obviously Quetzal bombing is a thing, but also just putting giant hatch frames uh, on the sides of the Quetzal and flying them up from the bottom on uh, bases like this would make it very easy to raid. But they've actually changed that on this server. So you can only put three structures on top of a, um, well, on top of a Quetzal platform saddle. And also you can't even put a C4 on them either. So this guy is breeding his golems. You can see he's got the mutator, so he's definitely breeding them. Uh, trying to get some nice ones. And it's an okay setup here. I'm actually not really sure. I guess you could still, like, Quetzal golem stuff up for a soak for bit, for bases like this. But uh, either way, it's nice to see them. And this guy's actually flying around. I don't know if he wants a piece of this. Always careful when I PvP around people's bases. Where's he going, actually? Is he going off and away? Oh. That one, dear. Is he going to go for the pick on me? Hello, I'm here. He just, what? Is he lagging? Has he not seen me? What is this guy doing? Oh, it's lag. Oh, this is a big lag spike. Okay. I don't want to PvP you too close to your base. But I do have, like, a banging griffin here that will absolutely destroy anyone's griffin that's not really well leveled. So... Oh, and there you go. Killed it in one hit. Oh, God. That's a little bit OP. I think I actually killed him. Oh, I killed him off of it. Ooh, maybe this griffin's a little bit OP, man. <laughs> I might have to say to the guy. Oh, and someone else. I might have to say to the guy he might need to chill with this because uh, that's too much. Look how much damage I've just done to that guy's griffin. He's, he's not going to come back after that. He's not coming back after that. Ooh, don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> if I am out of here. <laughs> Let's go and visit all the usual spots, shall we? This is uh, definitely going to be a base on here. People love this one. I've never really built any of myself. Called Sisters. And they've actually got foundations which are on their own, which isn't good because you can demolish allowed them super quick on this server. But they've got a very nice compact base design oh and i think this is like they've just started yeah they've got the um protection thing on i think that's on for like the first three hours that you're on the server i might be able to demo these i can i could be super mean and put some of my own foundations down and i can actually get up and demolish most of these i don't know if they're on 
Can't, oh, I can't demo any of them are in there. Okay, I might see if I can put a foundation down somewhere close. Stop them expanding, basically. Okay, that's all we can do there. Let's fly around. See if there's any bases that don't have the protection on. This is an interesting setup here. I quite like this, actually. Spider pig. It's not very well set up. I could... Probably quite easily take down these pillars he put because he hasn't put turrets on them yet. Let's see how it looks from the other side. In all honesty, I could probably just soak this right now. My golems are pretty good. All oh, and there's turrets down there. Is that spider pig again? Is that someone fobbing up on him? This is dodo warriors. Hmm. And there's is that a dead tech tappy? Or oh, it's a it's something like that. So yeah, it looks like we might actually have a raid going on. Although, I don't think the guy they're raiding is at home. I think this is just a fob for it. Hmm. That's a shame that that's there, man. I would uh, probably try and take this on if it weren't for that. And I could, of course, try and drain this, but um, it's got a lot of tech turrets, fortunately. And I really want to mess with this. I think I'll actually come back in like 20 minutes and I'll see what's up. Because the fact that there's a tech tappy there that's... Uh, kind of floating and the guy's only got one trout on his base makes you feel like it might not be worth but we'll see we'll come back getting another small base i mean to be honest it's difficult finding something that's going to be worth your time um but also at the same time not so much of a change that i i can like realistically raid it within like you know an hour or so so um we'll leave that for now and uh, we'll just keep looking. I'm sure we'll find the perfect base soon enough. All right, finally, finally found a base that might be suitable. Let's, uh, we do have tech turrets here, as you can see on the top, as well as heavies, but not a huge amount uh, before I break the shield. So I really just have to drain the top. A little bit annoying because obviously I want to use a trike and, um, Getting rid of tech turrets that are up high is not always ideal. But let's get a trike down. See if we can start to soak at all. I could even use a golem. We do have good golems, even though they are tech turrets. But yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. Let's see if we've got a teleporter. We do. And I'll just call this uh, desert fob, I guess, even though it's not a fob. And I can call a trike in using the awesome teleporter, which is absolutely awesome. I've got some ready to go. This one... I think it's a, oh god that's not a trike we just named stuff war that's like to be used so gonna have to get a bit better naming with the naming scheme here let's bring in war trike ready to pop he is indeed okay i'm gonna you leave this here Whew, it's a little bit dodgy i'll be honest but we'll see hopefully i can oh man i'm going downhill here as well this is really want to be going from like uphill if i can at all so this is a little better let's see if i can do this well that didn't go so well <laughs> let's try that again uh we'll have to do it with a rock golem this time i guess Although, this isn't getting shot, so we might have a uh, players-only situation here on the turrets. And I do have an Arthur Plura ready to go. Oosh, let's try it out with something nice and cheap. Uh-oh, looks like we've got a players-only situation, boys and girls. Oh, look at it go. Yep, it's looking like we can all throw this. Oosh. All right, let's see how close we can get before getting melted by the turrets. Where is my shield? And then we will go from there because you need to get kind of close. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, okay, this is the place. Okay, I'm going to TP the other stuff back. Um, can I put something down here? I can. Right, that lets me know the range of the turrets. Very, very nice indeed. Let's take these back into base. Not going to need you guys at all. 
And let's get the Afro. So I guess I'm going to like... Oof. The thing is, if I call it in here, I'm not going to be able to tell it what to do. Unless I just put it on aggressive. But does an aggressive Arthro actually attack things? Like a bases? Hmm. I'm not sure. I wonder how close I can get. I'm, I am at... I'm risking getting melted here. Let's just call it in anyway because it won't get killed. So let's just like call it here. Let's see what happens. There you go. I've managed to whistle it. Let's see if it will go. Oh, yes. Beautiful. It's doing it. So the, the key was getting the whistle nice and quickly. And it is absolutely destroying in there. Probably going to use a Pteranodon then to barrel in there. Might have internals. Guess we'll find out. Can I whistle? Can't really whistle it on the force field. We tried that before. Oh, that could be a problem actually. Because obviously I can't really barrel in when the force field's a problem. Oh, God, this is actually a little bit tricky than I thought it might be at first. Question is, like, what I could try and do is barrel under that ceiling that you see there. But is there enough space there? It doesn't actually look like there is enough space for me to sit in there. I'll probably just bounce back. Especially with Tech Turret shooting me. Oh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Really actually not sure how I'm going to do it. But I guess I could, I should probably make this thing eat more hatch frames. If I make it eat the hatch frames, it should be good. But that's a, in itself is tricky. So it's broken quite a few of these, but I don't know if it's feeling like this is kind of not worth doing. One of the few things I can think to maybe do is use a really big tame to block line of sight while I walk up behind it kind of thing. But that's difficult because if a single turret can see you when you're in that kind of position, it will kill you. Um, by the way, there's a wild mantis killing one of my afros right there. Um, but I just don't think this area here is big enough. Like, if I can sit right there, like, I'm good. But if I barrel to it, which is the only way I can get there quick enough without dying to the turrets, it's surely going to bang me back out. So, I don't know. Let's, let's finish off this ceiling, see where it gets us. So, the idea is, I mean, it's a silly idea, but it's unofficial. This is why we play unofficial for the funsies. Uh, we are going to barrel into a corner here and hope we don't bounce off. So, basically, there, for example. I think it, it could be okay, actually, looking at it from this angle. I think I need to come from a shallow angle as possible. It's also a case of will the turrets melt me and will I be able to stick there once i'm there but i don't have much on me um let's just give it a go it's not a big problem if it doesn't work oh we're in kind of being shot through the wall by turrets because it's arc okay this is interesting being banged around which was to be expected to be honest if I can stay in this corner here, we might be good. Okay. Question is, can I bang this shield from this position without killing myself? I kind of want to... This Tyranodon's going to take a beating. That's okay. Okay, I think I'm okay here. Okay. We look like we might be good. Oh, boys, this might just work. Might just be crazy enough to work. I do still keep occasionally keep getting hit by like one turret. My flak's pretty good. And I didn't bring another beer, but I could kick console if I do need another beer. Jesus, just got hit quite a few times again. This is a little bit dodgy, man. I didn't bring a spare set of flak. I'll swap my legs just in case that helps. Yeah, occasionally I keep getting rattled by a few, which is not good. Like that, for example. 
think it's when it lags in all honesty i think it's just when it lags or either like where i'm getting pushed by my own tech away perhaps oh, look my chest is getting low now i'll do a kit starter if i get super desperate if i get hit again just have some backup flak Like, oh my god, yeah, it's lag. It's when the server lags. So I have to be a little bit careful. Wow. Brilliant game. Lag jumped. Guess I'll get another terror. Oh, this is so much better of a higher damage tech rifle. We're going to be in, boys. All right, finally we are in. Take this guy's stuff. So you got a bed in here? I'm not even seeing a bed. How much element in here? Oh, only 176. That's not a lot. I'm not actually seeing a bed in here, which I guess is interesting. Um, do I have C4 on me? Should have put some C4 in something. I guess I can just destroy. Can I get to the gen from here? I think I am actually damaging it there. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay. This is going to be down. Hopefully this is the only one in here. I think it is. And there it is. Oh, finally. Finally, we're in. We can just relax. All right, let's get some Pteranodons in here. I might as well go get those Pteranodons. All right, what's we got in the rep? Mm, decent stuff. Stuff for another tower. Not too many blueprints or anything. So, I mean, this isn't obviously the best base on the server or anything, but with something like medium size, I can at least try to take on. Um, so let's get this gear out of here. So we're going to be rounding off today's episode there, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit longer than some of the more recent ones. I know a lot of you say that you enjoy the longer episodes. And like I said in the video, it's really difficult for me to try and find like an ideal base for me to raid, especially on my own and on servers where people can have thousands of turrets and you're just there with one or two soakers. But that one was interesting. It was tricky. Definitely made plenty of mistakes. Learned a little bit along the way and uh, managed to get in there like i said wasn't really expecting much loot in there but we're here just for the experience and to hopefully learn from it and just have a good time i'm really not sure if these official servers are the ones for like pvp and raiding it's so like all over the place um that i'm not sure it's quite what i'm after and i am getting that like official and the lower rate kind of feeling that i need to get back into some of that so there will be some of that coming forward guys but there is still a bit of fun to be had here of all the crazy amounts of building you can do all the farm you can do all these ridiculous ridiculous mods you can use it is fun to still experiment with them but we're definitely going to be having a mix in the very near future going forward anyway that's it for now guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one